let me show you how to actually disable and completely remove any system apps that can't really be removed the regular way as a robust system app so for example maybe you want to remove chrome basically or maybe youtube or any like maybe play store for some reason maybe you got internet addiction then we can actually remove this completely from from the phone but for that we need to actually connect it to our computer so grab your cable and grab your windows uh, computer basically and then you have to basically download this app it's called adb app control basically and make sure that you install it it's a free app i think they have a paid version as well but in the free version you can do this as well okay then on the phone basically you have to go to our uh, settings and in the settings click on the about phone at the end basically here click on that and then click on the software information okay and then find your build number basically and what you have to do is you have to click seven times on it so keep clicking on it and you see developer mode has been enabled next we can go back to the uh, main screen as you can see you got another new option here developer options so open that then scroll down till you see this usb debugging and make sure to enable this okay and okay allow it next plug in your cable that you use to charge and also make sure you have this app already open okay we plugged in and make sure to allow this allow access to data and then also allow this usb debugging click allow and then it will basically connect itself if you don't see this option doesn't pops you can basically scroll swipe like this and uh, it will appear here as well so click on that that well so uh, okay so agree to install this ac bridge app on your phone basically you do not have to get, like install it if you don't want it but it will make uh, it will be easier to find the package name basically and the apps so it will take some time to install it uh, on this phone but again you don't need to uh, do that if you don't want to and it will take some time okay let's see and then it will basically bring up this page basically if you don't see this list of your apps make sure you have actually click here enable tab you can switch between different here so then what you have to do is simply search for the apps you want to remove for example i like to remove this all samsung junk basically so pretty much then if you want for example remove this home basically select the home and then go here click uninstall and click uninstall and okay make sure you're okay how is it and then also make sure to create a backup of this app file if you want to restore it later so yep make sure to do that otherwise you will have some problems okay and as you see from my phone that chrome app actually disappeared completely and as you see it's nowhere there and then again simply scroll through the list of all apps you want to get rid of and also if you want to after that uh, basically install them back you can click this uh, uninstall tab basically and you can see your uninstalled apps here as well so if you want to uninstall them back again you have to again connect it uh, to your computer go to the software basically click on this app basically and click restore here and it will basically be restored on your uh, phone again and when we go to the all apps list on our phone you can see i don't have the chrome anymore so it's completely uh, yeah it's gone from the phone by the way if you factory reset this phone uh, it will also bring back that app but you can't really bring it back any other way uh, at this point basically without actually again connecting to a phone uh, to the sorry to the laptop basically and restoring through that app so it's permanently deleted almost from the phone unless you do a full factory reset and bring it to the factory state then of course it will be restored but yeah that's quite a puff and really i think this is the easiest way if you have like internet addiction and simply want to get rid of those apps basically as you know you can't really remove them any other way as you can simply 
uh, like with a click in the settings enables that app back on so yeah if you want to see more videos about this phone then make sure to subscribe see you